We're hanging out here in our CB Cafe with Rosanna Thill from uh, uh, High Health uh, Nutrition. And, you know, back to school, right around the corner for some already in yes. school. And so we're talking about how to make sure your kids get off on the right foot. Nutrition-wise. Yeah, we got to get that brain powered up and get them ready. And what yes. do they say, that uh, breakfast is the most important meal? It is. So what should we be feeding the kids before uh, sending well, them off to school? If I can just school? say something really quick. If our children and our teens could eat half of this every day, they would, like you said, have increased brain power, what I call focus, concentration. Their blood sugar would be more stable throughout the day. They would eat uh, less crave less sugar. Uh -huh. So you're right. So breakfast is a good place to start. So we made a breakfast burrito here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anything that's whole grain has what they call uh, complex carbohydrates and fiber, meaning that it slowly releases uh, the energy that the brain needs, which is sugar. And so we put in some eggs, which is a good source of protein, and then the beans. Of course, any type of beans, uh, especially black beans, have high antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals in there. But most importantly, this is a sustained release food. If you give your child something like Pop-Tarts or something sugary cereal in the morning, yeah. there's not enough fiber and protein to sustain the brain's energy, which is sugar. And then all of a sudden, maybe an hour or two later, when learning is crucial, they will be up and then come back yeah, down, and then crash. there's their attention. You know, Rosanna, uh, you have so much great information that I want to quickly move to lunch because moms and dads are going to be packing lunches real quickly here. Yes. Yes. And, and the ideas that you have are actually pretty simple because a lot of times we don't have time in the morning to, to put a lunch together, but you still have some good ideas anyway. Well, how about a simple peanut butter and jelly sandwich on whole grain bread? Once again, the peanut butter is a good source of protein. You have your whole grain bread, which again has that fiber slowing down the release of the um, blood sugar going high and low. You can simply do uh, some, some chunk like tuna, a little bit of mayonnaise in there. You can take, a, again, a whole grain pita pocket, put in some actual meat and cheese. Again, it's just, the goal is to sustain, release the mm -hmm. food versus something like this, which is very popular, and you're right, it's quick, convenient, mm -hmm. but in there, there's not enough fiber and there's not enough protein, and then they give them sugary drinks, and then here we go again, high, low, crash, lack of focus, attention. Where can we find all this information? Do you guys have a website where you oh, have yes. a breakdown of all this? You can go to highhealth.com, okay. and then we have a nice nutrition site. We actually have a great children's section mm -hmm. there, especially for kids who are not able to uh, fill in nutritional gaps because kids are busy today. Yeah. We actually have vitamins for kids, vitamins for teens, and lastly, a protein shake that I basically... I like that. That'll balance you out there. We're out of time right now, but again, we'll go. put all this information on our website. We thank you very much for sharing. we got to get those kitties, <laughs> their brains powered up. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow.